Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is an introduction for inventory management version number three. This is actually the answers for most common questions that I receive. Is it possible to do the inventory management in a multiple items? Yes, it's possible. So that is why this version three comes up. So this version three allows you to add multiple items in one transaction and it allows you to see all the history of adding stocks and releasing stocks and also allows you to print the statement whenever one transaction is done there is a pdf statement that you can print all right this is actually pretty similar to my previous upload the inventory management version number two However, that version number two is only a single item inventory management. So this time, this version three is a multiple item. You can add multiple items as you like. Let's say I'm going to add in this stocks inventory, I have all 500 in available stocks. What if I'm going to make it all 600 in one transaction? So click add new stocks. Then click next. Over here, you can add a multiple items. So let's say I'm going to add each 100 in each category. Okay. All good. This is the fourth item. And then I mean third item. And this is the fourth item. And I'm going to add the fifth item. And then I'm going to add the last item. I can actually add as much as I can. I can add so many items here. So our goal is just to make it all 600. So I added how many? Six items here. So it should be, in each category in the stocks inventory, it should be become 600. Then, and if I want to print the, the receipts, I mean the statement of this, I can just click this close and then it allows me to click this to print and view the PDF, the statement, or you can name it. So currently we are adding stocks. And then here, it allows me to click this. And then when I click that icon, it gives me the add stock statement. So these are all the items that we added. And these are the quantity. All right. So this is an optional for you. Then once we go back there in the stocks inventory, all of them become 600. What if the same item I'm going to add again? So... This is also one of the common errors. So let's try. So let's say I'm going to add again another 100. Our goal is to make it 700 all. Okay. Or let's try only two items. It's similar item code. So I added two items. So the iPhone 10 and 11 the new available stock it should be 700 then if i click the, the this one and i want to print the statement of adding stocks i can do that as well all right then once i click this so i added just two items and there are two items here in the statement so iphone 10 this is the quantity we added once we go back to our inventory, I mean stocks inventory, it became 700. What if we're going to re release a stocks? So releasing a stocks will be, I wanted this, this two, I mean, all of this to become zero. Okay. So I want it to become zero. So I'm going to add iPhone 10 and 11, 700. Click next. This is releasing stocks. So I'm going to add 
iPhone 10, I'm gonna release 700, and also I'm gonna release iPhone 11 or 700, and the rest uh, 600. This is the answer for most of the questions that I received. And uh, okay, so I added 600 and then 700 for, I mean, I'm releasing the stocks of iPhone 10 and iPhone 11. So I my goal is to make them all zero. Then if I want to print the this and go to the release tax, so it will give me a statement of release tax. So what are those items that I release? So it is, uh, you can file this if you want a, let's say if you still want the PDF, and then when I print this, so this is the release stock statement. These are all the items that we release. Once we go back to stocks inventory, all of them become zero. Okay, what if we're gonna try here in add stocks, uh, the same item. So let's say one items only. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna add iPhone 10, say 100. And I'm gonna add again iPhone 10. 100 so it should become 200 then once i close then print the statement it should allows me to print the same category so if you'd like uh, to copy this up let me know and hopefully soon I can upload this video. So stay tuned. Make sure you turn on the notification bell once I upload the, the instruction or the tutorial for this video. So this is the ad stocks. So here we should have here available stocks as you can see. All right. And the good thing of this, you can see all the release stocks history here. And then the add stocks history is here. So you can go back and review those stocks. Okay. And here all the history. All right. So let me know your thoughts. So this is this will be the answer for most common questions on how to make an inventory management in a multiple items. All right. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the tutorial.